Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Broken Swords Angel of Death with me Classic Gamer and last time we got the hotel card key and now we're going to lose it to get upstairs. In fact, before we do that... It's the key card I stole from Thelwell. We're going to give Anna Maria a ring. I'm still trying to get a hold of a key card. Well, you better hurry, George. These guys are sure to spot me soon. I'm on it. Bye. So we've got the key card. And... We're going to use it on there. George, it's me. You okay? I'm trapped on the fire escape. They've got guys all over the place. They haven't seen me yet, but it's only a matter of time. George, you must get into my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, just hold on and, and I don't know, look invisible. Invisible? Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. I really hate doing stuff like this, but it could be useful. Ooh, that's nasty. A pile of dead bugs at the bottom of the stairwell. It's a massacre. Bodies everywhere, legs in the air. Reminds me of that party Ross threw for my 21st. <laughs> Heck, he should be getting out of jail soon. A large fumigation warning sign. Hmm. Some guests. I wasn't expecting this many legs. I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. But when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. <laughs> I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Right, what's up there? What's up here? Is there anything there? No. I can't fucking run, which is really awkward. Huh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what the heck are they feeding on? It's the door to the cleaner's closet. From the state of this place, I'd reckon the cleaner committed suicide long ago. There's a knocking coming from behind the door. Hey, get away from there. I'm only looking for some bleach for my bathroom. Well, go look someplace else. Anybody ever tell you you have wonderful people skills? The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point no, in guessing. No point at all. How can I get the code for the door? A simple numeric keypad by the cleaner's closet. Someone must think that the cleaning materials are worth stealing. Room 12. 
22. Slime is dripping down the door. How quaint. Yuck. Door's locked. Whatever's behind there has to be a health hazard. Sorry guys, just got my other half texting me. <laughs> so, right, okay. Room 24. The sign on the door says, do not disturb. From the state of this place, I doubt there's a cleaner to walk in on anyone. Can open the door when it's clear they want privacy. Maybe they are renting the room by the hour. What's this? The flowers are completely dry. Alfonso sure knows how to treat a plant. From tea tree to tinder in one easy lesson. Flowers feel dry and dusty. Room 21. This hotel stinks. These rooms should be charged by the hour. On second thoughts, maybe they are. Oh. The door's locked. And in this hellhole, I'd be doing the same. Room 23, Anna Maria's room. The door's open. It must have been forced. Whoa, get away from there. I'm sorry, is this your room? Nope. Then why can't I go inside? Because me and my friend here, Mr. Magnum 45, wouldn't like it. Ah, and what he says goes, right? Yeah, what he says goes. Bang! <laughs> Okay, I told you once. Yep, you're right about that. You're trying to make me angry, huh? Is that a bad thing? Oh, yeah. You don't want to make me angry. Mister, you are a very, very stupid man. Now, stay away from the door. Okay, I think I'm getting your message here. Hmm, let's do the time warp. I've got a sudden urge for deep-fried cheeseburger. Oh. The window looks out over the front of the building. Hmm, there are guys outside. Must be waiting for Anna Maria. Hey, buddy, leave the window alone or I'll throw you through it. I need some fresh air. Oh, yeah? Well, go walk in the road. Got a problem with your hearing, pal? Sorry, got a problem with the hearing. Leave the window alone, wise guy. Right, this gives you a clue of what you actually have to do later with the window. But, what you do... Wait for him to do his little stance. Get away from there. I'm sorry, is this your room? Nope. Then why can't I go inside? 
Because me and my friend here, Mr. Magnum 45, wouldn't like it. Ah, and what he says goes, right? Yeah, what he says goes. Bang! <laughs> Right, I might try and actually use the keyboard because I can't actually do it like this. Right, let's change the control, shall we? Bloody phone. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. So, what's with the nervous guy? Yeah, I drove him from Virginia. Had the nerve to say our website was all lies. I wouldn't mind, but we don't even have a website. He seems a little nervous. Been here two days, waiting on a phone call. Says it's too dangerous to go outside. <laughs> with you on reception, oh, I take my he's chances outside lips there, any day. Which is a bit of a glitch, I reckon. So what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Death Watch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. So, apart from eating every scrap of wood, what harm do they do? They fall in your food, they climb in your hair, they live in your bed, and they are impossible to kill. Who's the shifty looking guy upstairs? You talking about one of my guests? Looks like Elvis. So, maybe he is. A lot of celebrities stay here. Who's the shifty looking guy upstairs? Your description, uh, probably a guest. About a room. Exactly what part of no do you not understand? Tasteless gold plated lighter. already told you, stop messing with my window. I'm sorry, it's just so beautiful. What are you, some kind of prevert? I think you mean pervert. Ha! So you admit it, huh? Oh, God, this... Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. Surprise! I found this upstairs. Get that away from me. Hey, <laughs> what did I tell you about those hands? That they were so lovely I should do hand modeling for cigarette ads. Get out of here. A nice. perfectly preserved fumigated beetle. Nice. Alfonso won't be happy. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. It could be my eyes, but 
Is that something moving on your clock? It's the hands, pal. It's called time. Can't you see it? Oh, let it not be. What? A Death Watch beetle. No! Not my precious clock! There's no beetles here. <laughs> you can have a little bit of fun with him. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. I know it could be my eyes, but I swear I just saw a Death Watch beetle running along the top of your clock. Don't joke with me, mister. Oh, I wouldn't joke about your precious. Huh? No! What's he seeing? There's nothing here. Hey, I told you already. Leave it alone. I know. Sorry. Bad, George. Damn parasites. Yeah, so you have a little bit of fun with Alfonso. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. Look, there's another one. Not again. Right, that's enough. The lighter's behind the glass partition. Got it. Listen, pal, if you don't stop messing with my window, I'm going to start messing with yours. Sorry about that. Right, now we've got lighter, we can go back upstairs. But I'm going to leave that until next video, guys. So as usual, well, not as usual, I can't use that word. But as always, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop me a like, and leave me a comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye for now.